similar to A Wrinkle in Time, J.K. Rowling's series, a Harry Potter series, was also rejected a lot. When she was able to get her book published, her initial payment was a couple thousand dollars, which I guess is really nice for someone who is starting out in the business. But as you can see, Harry Potter has become a huge fandom and a book widely loved and widely read. And ironically, the first prints of these books cost a couple thousand dollars, even more than she was paid for for the story. Hello Internet! Today is the 15th. Today is the midpoint of NaNoWriMo. How are you guys doing? I already know because I check the Word Buddies list incessantly. Yes, checking it twice, making a list of who's naughty or nice. Today I'm not going to do anything super special for this video because first off I woke up a little too late this morning and second off I did come up with something but I want to spend a little bit more time with it because I think it's kind of funny and I want to do a good job. So instead I wanted to talk about what my schedule is like right as of now for NaNoWriMo because it has changed a lot as I was getting used to everything. So if you didn't know, I'm a really, really busy person this month. I mean, I work full-time, I volunteer, I vlog every day, I have to edit every day, I have to do my write my novel, and among other things. Also grad school. Grad school. That's important too. This is sort of the schedule that I put in place, and it really helps me. So you first start off with me waking up at 6 30 every morning. I wake up at 6 30 every morning. The way I do it is that I put my alarm clock somewhere else like I'd have to walk to it in order to turn it off and that usually wakes me up just like the walking and turning off thing. I don't know I might have to do a different technique because I've become I've developed zombie mode when I walk now and that is not healthy. Yes I'll I'll turn off the alarm and then walking there and then walk back to my bed and sleep and then I wouldn't even have any memory that I did that so I might have to switch it up a little bit for myself but yeah that's been usually working every morning and so right when I wake up I would get my laptop out and write and that's really important especially for me because the logic part of my brain doesn't really settle in as I've said in previous videos and so uh, I won't have very many inhibitions. I won't have very many thoughts telling me you can't do this. This is so illogical. All that stuff, I don't really get that until maybe an hour or two later. <laughs> and so I'll just be writing, I'll push out a lot of words, and and yeah, it's good. I mean, I usually finish uh, within an hour or two, so it's it's perfect. And then once it hits 8 or 9, I usually vlog because that's when the sun comes out and the sun will hit my face and it's yeah, it's really convenient because it's right before work. And somewhere between writing and vlogging, I'll export the video that I filmed yesterday. So that takes about an hour. After I make a video, export a video, and have written something, I usually go and get ready for work. And so that won't take me very long because I'm a very minimalistic person. So I'll go to work at 10.30 and I'll come back at 6.30 because my and my work ends at 6 and it takes me half an hour to commute. I'll come back at 6.30 and usually by that time I'll hopefully watch some YouTube videos and booktube videos because I think it's really important to watch other people's booktube videos as well as making your own. After that I'll usually write some more. And I won't write as much as I do in the morning time, for obvious reasons. Logics has settled, has settled in, I'm more tired, uh, my morale is so low. <laughs> After that, I usually make time for grad apps, and then I'll edit my videos, and usually it just takes me half an hour because they're really quick. And then I'll just go to sleep. That is my schedule. And I've made time reading some books, and I've been rereading The Outsiders and rereading some of uh, my other books like Wonder by RJ Palacio and also Catcher in the Rye because my 
protagonist is a male protagonist and that re usually really helps me so I try to squeeze that in there in my schedule but I don't think I'm going to be reading a lot this month for obvious reasons and it kind of bums me out because I really like making wrap-up videos but I obviously can't do that this month but maybe I will just just like NaNoWriMo edition or something and I just received my second to last package for my books for my next book haul I just need to get one more and inevitably this month I'll have to make a book haul video. Yeah, it's it's happening guys. It's happening whether we like it or not. Here's my word count for today. That's really all I have to say. Have a really good NaNoWriMo day and middle of NaNoWriMo month. We have another two weeks, another long two weeks to go. But, you know, we have each other so... I'll see you, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye!